an idiot sandwich. Happy cooking! Good morning, everybody. So it's currently 8:30 a.m., which is pretty unheard of for me because I'm not a morning person, which means today must be an exciting day. Sorry, the camera's all steamed up. It's so warm outside today, but we're just on our way to get picked up because today we're doing a traditional Balinese cooking class. How are you today? Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. We are ready for tasting Balinese. The driver Wayan dropped us at the local market to meet his cousin Mayoman, who was going to be our chef for the day. I'm going to show you about what's happening today that we do every morning for the local people here. In Bali, it always starts from here. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, the people in Bali, every time they're going to prepare what for breakfast, lunch, and also dinner for their family, they always buy fresh every morning. Naoman showed us around the oldest and largest traditional local market in a bud and talked us through a lot of the ingredients we were going to be cooking with. Snail, snail. This is what we call snake skin fruit. He gave us a tour of where he lives and also taught us a lot about the Balinese culture, which was really interesting. We live in a family, yeah? yeah. We live in a group of the family. My family, this is something that we use maybe for example when we have a bad weather. And we got to try their homegrown coffee and pancakes before it was time to get ready to cook. Thank you. So we need to tie it in the front, so hopefully we can see more something good in the future. Yeah. That is nice. Great. First up we had to make the base ganep or bamboo barley, which is a mix of spices and herbs used as the base for a lot of Balinese dishes. We started out by finely chopping some garlic, shallots, chilli, ginger, turmeric, lemongrass and two types of galangan which is a root similar to ginger and turmeric. This is the secret ingredient. We can say this is the secret ingredient for the Balinese food because almost all the recipe that we try in Bali, it start from one sauce. And the big difference, later you're gonna see from one sauce, we can create so many things, but the taste also different. We then Christian added base wengan, which is a combination of mixed dried spices and nuts and some salt. You can also add shrimp paste if you're not cooking vegetarian dishes. We then use the base ganette for our first dish, meatball soup. You can use any meat you'd like for the meatballs or you can use tofu like I did. Just make sure whatever you're using has been minced first. We started by heating coconut oil in a pan. Everything that we cook with the coconut oil, how is the flavor? You can smell it. Yeah, very nice. Then add one teaspoon of the base ganette, a whole bay leaf and a pinch of salt. Do it like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> the MC style, yeah? You smell the flavor already? Yes. Yeah. How's the smell? Like, it's good? Very good. Very good, yeah. We then added vegetable broth and some chopped vegetables. We used potato, carrot, and choco. I then added my tofu and left it to simmer, but here's how you make the chicken meatballs. Well, we're gonna prepare the meatball, yeah? Can you take another one more teaspoon of your sauce? Put on the top of the minced chicken. This is how we made it, yeah? Yeah, that's it. And then the shrimp paste, same like before, less than quarter, just a pinch, yeah? yeah. Salt, how much that you, you like it? Another pinch. A pinch, another pinch, yes. Now, mix everything with your hand. This is also something different. The people in Bali, when we mix everything, we use a hand because we bleed. The six cent that we get in our life is from here. What you can create, you're gonna create something good or something bad is depend to you. Once the meatball mix has been made, separate it into smaller ones and then add it to your vegetable broth to cook. Oh, 
Good. That's really nice. <laughs> really nice, yeah. So now we're gonna cook until the vegetable getting soft, yeah. Yeah. At least ten until really uh, nice. fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. Turn a little bit. Mm. I don't know about the chicken. You know what we've been boiling. Mm. Mm. That's so nice. The tofu is really nice as well. Mm. Oh wow. Good. That's so nice. And it's easy to make. Mm -hmm. Oh, ten. 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 It's so nice. Okay, now we're gonna learn how to make the sauce with the mortal and pestle. Okay? Yeah. So the leftover, the sauce that we made, is already we put on the mortal. Now, we're gonna make it very fine. You need to press and twist with the pestle. Yeah, make I'm it... <laughs> At least, also, you can burn your calorie first before you give the new <laughs> one. <Yeah. laughs> you can cook and exercise also. For the people in Bali, we make a satay basically when we have a ceremony. So like for the wedding, cremation, ceremony in the temple, we make a satay. When we make a satay, we make always in the big portion. For example, when we have the normal ceremony in our temple, we make a satay at least from 500 stick of satay until 10,000 really? stick of satay. Wow. It's different to the Would that be for everyone in the village? Yes. All the people we invite, in, include also the neighbors, to help to make it. Yeah. Okay? But today, we gonna make something special. For the satay, basically, we can use any kind of meat. Huh? But for the vegetarian, we gonna use tempeh. We started by adding our crushed bascinet, coconut milk, and a pinch of salt to our tempeh or meat, and then it was time to mix it together with our hands. We add the coconut milk, you know, that's to make it not too sticky when you mix it. Yeah. That's the point why we add also the coconut milk on the top. We then separated our mixture into three and wrapped it around lemongrass sticks. That's the point. Make the bottom of the satay totally stick. So later when you grill will be not break. We then grilled the satay until they were nice and golden brown. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no. Oh wow, that's so nice. That's so good. We're gonna make the curry and we're gonna put the ingredient one by one. You need to heat the oil first, yeah? Reheat the oil first. For the tofu curry, we added everything to a pan with coconut oil, our crushed bascinet, coconut milk, tomatoes, tofu, and tempeh. Now mix everything on the fire. You smell the flavor already? It's so nice, yeah? We add the vegetable stock. Okay. Smells good, yeah, Alex? Like, just put it oh, on the fire. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Okay. After this, we're gonna cook until the soup is getting thick and reduced, yeah? Approximately also 15 uh, minutes. What are you trying first? Tofu or? Yeah, I've got the... Uh, yeah, I've got the tofu. nicer than the one you had at Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm gonna try the tempeh as well. Mm. 
so so much nicer. And last up was one of my favourite Balinese desserts, Daragalong. We add one teaspoon sugar. We need also to add this one, a quarter teaspoon of salt to make it tasty, yeah? yeah. The coconut, can you see here? Can you write down coconut yeah. milk, yeah? We're gonna make it green. We also added cold water that had been coloured using padan leaf, which helps make it a little bit healthier. And most Balinese dishes, especially desserts, use natural colourings like this. So to be harmless, not only for the dessert. Coconut oil to moisture, yeah? You see it? We use the coconut, we not throw it. That's a mound, you see it? And then you move it, make it good round. You see it? And then this one. Good job, yes. Oh, no. A double flip once again. Oh, no. oh, it's okay, it's okay. Just shake it. It's okay. It. Two, okay? It's okay. Then it was time to add the filling or the onti. Take the first pieces. Put a little bit in the bottom. And pull it the bottom first. And then the right side. Press also. The left side. Press also. Ready? And then you roll it like a spring roll. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and then put yes. on the plate with the banana. Mm -hmm. This is our traditional. We call it dadar gulung, a special green crepes. And then we're gonna rolling unti inside. The unti that's made from the grated coconut we boil with the palm sugar syrup. That will be nice, colorful, and healthy dessert. Can you show it? Can you? Ta-da! That's a special dessert, yeah? Why do we make it cheese for you? I don't know, you mean. Mm. That, that is so good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for everything, yeah? Enjoy mm. Bali, eh? Bali is safe <laughs> for tourists. And in true abud fashion, it started to absolutely pour with rain as soon as we were leaving. I just wanted to say how much we actually enjoyed the cooking experience. The whole team was so nice. As I mentioned, it was completely family run. So the driver and the chef were cousins. We were cooking with the aunties and we also met the rest of the family at the house. During the coronavirus times, there's not been many travellers in a bud, and we were actually the first cooking class they'd had in 18 months, which is crazy. So if you are in a bud or you're planning to come to Bali, definitely go and do their cooking class. I will leave all the links down below in the description to their TripAdvisor, their Instagram, their Facebook, if you want to have a look, but I would definitely recommend it. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in another video.